recording. Excellent. Okay, we're gonna do a special edition on pizza boxes. Imagine this is a perfectly intact pizza box that just had its pizza eaten. This is made out of corrugated, so it's 100% recycled material, which is really cool. It's just paper. Um, pizza boxes don't have any kind of plastic lining or anything like that. They're just they're just recycled paperboard. Favorite toppings? Pineapple. I'm a big proponent of pineapple. Now what happens when you put a pizza inside is they get greasy. From a can. Pineapple from a can. That's not good for recycling. However, you'll notice a vast majority of the pizza box is still totally clean. So here's what I do. I tear the greasy bit of the pizza box. This is less awkward than it looks. Okay, so, ta-da, greasy bit. And over here, we have the the clean bit. I am now covered in cornmeal. If you have a municipal compost system, you can put the greasy cardboard into there. If you don't have a municipal compost system, you can put it in your backyard composter. If you don't have a backyard composter, you can put this into the garbage. On the other hand, the clean cardboard here, you can put into the recycling. And bacon. Mushrooms, really love mushrooms. Mm, capers, oh, anchovies, I love anchovies. Paper is universally recyclable and pizza boxes are universally recycled cardboard. I've never seen a pizza box that's made out of anything else. Composting or landfill if you don't have compost. Recycling. You can do the same for donut boxes, fish and chip boxes. Anything that comes in paper or cardboard and you'll see it'll look very matte on the inside and the outside. It won't look shiny or glossy. If it looks shiny or glossy, it might have some kind of plastic liner on the inside. Pizza boxes, that's all. I don't know how to stop this from recording.